I am a dad to four girls. So oldest is 10, second oldest is seven, third oldest is four, and then the, the youngest is eight months. I'm a dad to three children. I have two boys, a five-year-old and a three-year-old, and I have one girl, uh, she is 18 months old. I am a dad to two crazy little boys, a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. Here, guys. This is them. Hi. Hi. The good thing about being a dad, I think, is just watching them grow up and watching them kind of um, develop their own personalities and kind of, you know, just become the, the women that they're supposed to be. Uh, honestly, it's just the being able to hang out and spend time with the kids. I mean, they they're a, a great change of pace. You know, we we come to work, we do all these things, and you go home, and you've had these problems throughout the day. Uh, they're kind of wear on you, and you home, and they're just so excited to see you. They want to hang out with you. Um, really, it's just um, it it helps shift your whole entire day real quick uh, when you get home and they're crawling all over you and just want to wrestle and play and, and do all the things that they want to do. My favorite things about being a dad are probably just being there to experience my kids growing up, uh, seeing them reach all of their various milestones, and just seeing them develop into the people that they're becoming and being able to experience that with them. My favorite memory is Probably um, just becoming a father, just being there at the hospital, uh, being there when a you know a new little baby is uh, being born into the world, and to know that I am you know responsible for this child, that I'm going to be there for this child's triumphs and uh, their disappointments, to be there for the good times and the bad times. Um, it was a overwhelming feeling but just an amazing feeling to know that uh, this new little baby is going to be part of my life and going to be there with me uh, throughout it. I loved obviously watching them all be born. I think that was cool. Uh, I didn't think that I'd like it. I stayed at the top of the bed, didn't go to the bottom, <laughs> but uh, I, I just liked seeing them be born. But I think, you know, some of the, if I had to share a favorite memory of all time, I think it's kind of the awkward moments that they put you through, uh, especially around others. My favorite memory so far, I guess, I, I, it's hard to pick one uh, particular. I guess, it, not to sound corny, but it, the whole experience has been completely different than what I thought it would be versus what you see on TV or um, you know how all these other uh, dads act. Every, everyone's different and you know it's the whole entire experience has been completely different than I thought it would be. It, it's great. Uh, I, again, I absolutely love it um, being able to hang out with the kids and, and do all sorts of crazy stuff. <laughs> My oldest, uh, she, we were at this, um, I think it was like a hunting store or something and we were checking out and there's this guy next to us that he, he smelled so bad but of course like I kept it in and she's like dad 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 I think this guy pooped his pants or whatever and uh, the guy looks at me you know, and I just looked at him and was like uh, uh, yeah sorry or whatever. <laughs> My favorite smart home automation is one that you know I might have said before, but um, we have uh, aluminum bulbs in our kids' rooms, and they four in the morning they turn red one percent. Uh, it's just enough to let them know that hey, this is it's not time to wake up yet. Uh, and then at a time that is preset, we have the light turn green, and that allows them to come out of their room. Um, usually it's around 7:30, 7:45, but. Uh, you know, there's been days that it's maybe been 8.30, there's been days when it's a little earlier, so it just depends how, how much Chris and I were up the night before. As my kids were little and they weren't quite able to uh, work the light switches, it was um, cool that they were able to, you know, use voice command to turn those lights on and off and to perform the various functions of the house, things that they normally wouldn't be able to do or not be able to reach. They each have a couple um, Philips Hue bulbs, they've got an Invelli bulb, they've got all these different colored bulbs in their house and uh, what we do is basically at bedtime they like to have different color bulbs, like every night it's a different color and so we set it up to where 
they'll click their switch a couple times and it'll change to blue or it'll change to purple or pink, uh, whatever they're in the mood for. And so they like something pretty basic like that, but well, I think one that really benefits everyone is we've got like a, a movie scene where um, we have a tablet on the wall that's connected to smart things and um, you press a button and it basically activates a movie scene. So the doors will lock, uh, lights, all the lights turn off, and then we've got like some lights behind the TV that turn on a certain color. Um, and so it's just kind of cool to watch all these things happen at once by pressing a button. So I think that's probably the one that they love the most. Happy Father's Day from Minnevelli. I also wanted to obviously say Happy Father's Day to my own dad. Um, he taught me a lot. So for all the dads out there, whether it's uh, actual kids, fur kids, um, you know, I was a fur dad for a long time. So uh, Happy Father's Day, you know, from all of us at Minnevelli. We're grateful for, for everything that you guys do for your families. Um, keep up the good work. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, stepfathers. Anyone who is um, obviously raising a, a little boy or girl, and we're just so proud of you guys for doing that, and just uh, keep up the good work, all right? Happy Father's Day.